everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to use realistic placeholder content in your Figma designs using the CopyDoc plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to our Figma file, click on the little resources icon up here and search for CopyDoc, so that's C-O-P-Y-D-O-C. And under the plugins tab, if you just go ahead and click on CopyDoc, you can either run the plugin by clicking this run button here or I'd recommend clicking on this save button here and then going to your canvas, right clicking anywhere going down to plugins and then clicking on the copy doc item and that's just going to run the plugin that we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin it has a bunch of different features to help you update and export and import text content but for today I'm just going to be focusing on the content library feature so feel free to check out the YouTube channel for other tutorials but for today we're just going to be focusing on the content library to add some placeholder content to our designs. So to get started all we need to do is go ahead and click on the content library button and then just go ahead and click on the placeholders tab. So click on placeholders and you'll see here that immediately we've got a category selected called person with a bunch of different placeholder content. So what we can do with this content is we can use it to populate layers in our design just by clicking on them. So if we go ahead and click on this text layer here and we wanted to add a name to that layer, what we can do is click on this full name button and that will automatically populate the layer with a fake but realistic looking name. So we can do first name, we can do full name, uh, we can do last name, middle name, that sort of stuff, and basically go through all of these different items and apply them as needed. So besides just people, we've also got a bunch of other categories. So if you click on this category drop down here, uh, we've got a bunch of different ones for animals. So if you wanted to add uh, maybe like a dog or a horse, you can add different types of these animals and just add them with one click. Uh, you can also add a bunch of other categories. So we've got a bunch of different ones you might want to use in here. So our internet, for example, maybe you want to add an email address. So you can add fake email addresses uh, that look realistic, but not quite realistic. You can do uh, these email ones, which is more of a uh, realistic one with a Hotmail or Yahoo or Gmail address. Uh, and a bunch of other ones as well. So I'm not going to go through all of these categories. You can uh, go through these yourself and figure out what kind of content that you actually need. So you can do uh, fake words. You can do lorem ipsum if you wanted to. Uh, you can do paragraphs worth of lorem ipsum or just a sentence or just one line and all these different options there. So besides just using it like this, we can also use uh, shortcuts or snippets. So for example, if we use this copy icon over here, so I'm just going to click on that. Uh, this is going to allow us to copy this trigger uh, to our clipboard and then we can basically just paste it into a layer that already exists. So for example, if I wanted to go into here and I paste in that trigger, that'll automatically fill out that trigger into the full text. So just to show you what that's actually doing, if I manually type that out, so if I do slash slash fake dot lorem uh, dot lines, that'll automatically expand that based on the content that it's using. Uh, so there's a few different ways you can do that. Uh, the other thing we can do is also use placeholders as part of our custom content snippets. So if we go to the collections tab over here and we create a new snippet by clicking on the add new snippet button over here. And I'm just gonna give this a name. So I'm just gonna call this uh, subheading. And then I'm just gonna select a collection. So we're just gonna call this one uh, titles just make a collection for it. That's just basically just a category, so you don't have to worry too much about that. And then down here, we can now basically start using placeholders mixed in with our custom text content. So if you toggle on this show placeholder shortcuts button, uh, that's gonna allow you to use those same categories down here and intersplice them with custom text content. So you might do something like hello, and then select a name. So if we go back to our people, or person and then go back to our full name so click on full name or you can just do first name if that makes uh, more sense and then just click on the little plus icon down here and you can see here it's basically populating that with the shortcut that we saw before in double curly brackets so this is a special type of uh, placeholder that's going to get automatically replaced later so i'll show you a couple more examples of this so if we were to do uh, again go back to the animals so we go back to animals um, and then we can say in this picture uh, shows a and then just add a placeholder and add that there and then we can do bear at the end 
So we basically spliced that in the middle of that uh, sentence. So just for now, I'm just gonna save that. So I'm gonna click save new snippet. And you can see here, we've got our new snippet added in our collection. So this is just a way where we can basically create custom text snippets. And again, we can apply this either by clicking on the text layer and clicking apply. So if you click apply, that's gonna automatically uh, apply that randomly to the, uh, to the text layer. Or again, we can use the shortcut. So if you wanted to copy that to your clipboard and you wanted to add it somewhere in this layer, so maybe we wanted to add it uh, in the middle here, you can just paste that in and that will automatically uh, populate that. So you can see here, uh, it's automatically populating it. It'll do the same thing if we type it. So if I type that in manually, so slash slash subheading, that's automatically gonna populate that with a text uh, snippet. But the cool thing is you can see here, it's basically replacing the placeholder each time the text snippet gets rendered. So in this one, we've got hello Logan, and this one we've got hello Kobe. If we were to change that or add that again, so we can actually expand this and just add the hello first name uh, snippet, that's just gonna keep randomizing every single time. So you really get a, a nice way of adding these placeholders interspliced with your own custom content. And the cool thing is you can apply this to multiple layers at once. So if you wanted to basically add this to multiple layers, so let's say we've got these uh, four layers selected and then we wanted to add the hello snippet to those, click on that now. And each time you click that, again, it's gonna randomize that placeholder snippet for each of the selected items. So this can be a really powerful way of generating fake placeholder content for multiple items using your own content mixed with fake content. Uh, so if you wanna edit these as well, you can totally do that. Just click on the edit icon down here. And in this case, we don't wanna have bear at the end because it seems to be automatically adding the bear into the sentence. So I'm just gonna remove that. And we can add some other content in here as well. So let's say we wanna do a location. So you could create a location for a country. So you could say, uh, I'm from country and then plus, and then you could add an, another uh, area down here. So you could say country, and then you could do uh, building number. So we go building number uh, there, and then we'll do, and I live at building number and then we can do uh, maybe an address. So we'll do a uh, street address, add that in, and then we can also do maybe a postcode at the end. So let's add a postcode uh, or country code, one or the other, and then just add that in there. So we'll update that snippet, and then you can see here it's added that as a new snippet for us. So now if we were to apply that, you can see here it's gonna populate that automatically. Uh, so this is a really easy way of creating uh, interspliced fake text content in between custom text content that you can automatically apply uh, with one click. And again, you can copy that as a trigger. You can add that uh, to the end so you could keep adding you know, that trigger and it's just gonna keep populating it. And we can also do, as I mentioned before, just applying it directly. So there we go. You can see we've removed bear, so it's adding the bear automatically now. And that's a cool way of adding the dynamic animal into your sentence. So yeah, as I said, uh, I'm not gonna go through every single category. There's tons of different uh, categories and placeholders in here. Uh, the last thing I wanna go through is localization. So let's say you wanted to do uh, a localized site or a localized uh, bit of content, and you wanted to use um, names or addresses from a different country. So by default, it's just gonna do English American. But if we open up this localization drop down here, you can actually customize that to a different locale. So if we were to do Japanese and change that down here, you can see that the examples have basically been updated to use Japanese characters and Japanese names. So if we were to uh, replace this text layer here with a full name, uh, you can see that it's basically populating it with the Japanese characters now. And same sort of thing with uh, Korean. So we can do a Korean name and that's automatically gonna populate that. Uh, same thing for Italian. So we can do Italian and that's basically gonna populate it with Italian names. And so the cool thing is when you've got this locale selected, that's also gonna get applied to your existing collections as well. So if we were to uh, reuse the first name, so we'll apply the first name. You can see here that it's using the Italian names in our first name here. And if we change this uh, back again, so we'll go back to Japanese just to make it obvious that it's changing. 
uh, and go back to here, go back to our collections. And now if we replace that name, it's going to be in Japanese. So that's a really easy way of localizing your placeholders as well. Uh, if you do need to do a completely different uh, language or a different uh, set of um, locations or names, all the content that can be localized will be automatically localized when you apply the placeholders. So yeah, I hope that's been helpful. If you've been wondering how to use more realistic placeholder content, uh, if you're kind of overusing lorem ipsum and you actually want to use something that's going to be much closer to the real content that you're going to be using, but you're still waiting on the final copy to be approved, uh, using some of these placeholders is going to be a really easy way to automatically populate your designs with realistic placeholder fake content. So we'll leave it there for today. I just wanted to show you some of the fundamentals of how you can use placeholder content uh, in CopyDoc on its own and also splice in some of those placeholders dynamically into your custom content text snippets uh, using the content library feature uh, in CopyDoc. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.